The people of Mbengwe village in Mbengwe central subdivision are one of the most industrious in the entire Meta clan. United under their umbrella development association known as the Mbengwe Elements Development Association MEDA, the villagers have successfully dug a road with bare hands using rudimentary tools from Wumrete to Mbengche. This to facilitate the transportation of their farm produce from Cha, Besi Fomokong and other farmlands to their homes and markets. In the course of the ongoing Anglophone crisis, Mondays are being observed as ghost town days. As such, just like many other communities are doing, rather than staying at home and wasting the whole day, it is mostly these ghost town days that the villagers of Mbengi have been using to dig their road. After all, crisis or no crisis, development must continue. The realization of the project was greatly supported by the Mbengi Palace, the traditional council, elites, the villagers themselves, Meda, and the diaspora plus well-wishers and friends of Mbengi. On Monday, April 27, 2020, for example, we accompanied the villagers to the site to see how work is progressing. On this day, even the fun of the village also answered present for the community work not only to sit and observe or give instructions as a leader, but also to effectively partake in the exercise, thus leading by example. Moved by the seriousness of his subject in executing the task, the highest traditional authority of the people of Mbengui, whom they call Nginyam, Mbe, working Mbama Mbengui, extended a vote of thanks to his people. I want to thank uh, all the villagers that have made it possible to be here today. Uh, it is not easy, first of all, because the time we are living in, we have been affected by the coronavirus pandemic and we also have ghost towns that are disturbed. So they have taken upon themselves every Monday, which is ghost town, to come and dig this road with their own hands. This road is about uh, one kilometer and is left at about 300 meters from here to the chalk mine. Yeah, where we will locally call it Kalabachok. This road will be linking the Kalabachok area to uh, the mining team side and GRI. I want to thank all of them for the endless support and those outside always providing them with food and drinks to this effect. It took the villagers over half a year to realize the project. Throughout this period, they kept working like ants, everyone ensuring they contribute their own quota to the success of the project. At some point, the work was so perfectly done that one could think modern sophisticated equipments like bulldozers were used. But in reality, everything was done with bare hands using cutlasses, hoes, dig axes, spades and other rudimentary tools. No one was paid any franc for the work, yet the labor force of the village remains determined to sail through. They saw the project as an opportunity to imprint their footprints on the sands of time, to leave a legacy behind that generations to come will remember them for. In the course of the project execution, often there was music for relaxation. These are the people of Mbengwe village. Every Monday they've been coming here to do community work on this stretch of road that is a farm to market road. And of course you can see the men behind me, they are close to 50 and that's how they've been working here. Can you tell us about this work? What motivated you to come out with this initiative to dig this road with your hands? What really motivated us for this uh, work that we are doing is the fact that uh, our parents have been finding it difficult to carry their crops from the farm. So we, like uh, the working force of our village, we, we saw it right for us to 
dig this farm to market road so that it will enable our parents, even our young wives, to carry their crops back from the farm to the house and why not to the market. And how has been your impression with the outcome and the participation of the villagers? It has been very great because on every working day we have new Bengui men who are coming to join us on this, uh, on this work. And as you know, it is not everybody that is seeing development as something that he or she has to participate. But those who have Bengui in heart, those who have our parents in, in heart are the ones you, can, you are seeing on this road on daily basis. In the midst of the ongoing Anglophone crisis, several contractors dread coming to such suburbs to execute public contracts. Do you feel abandoned by the government and as such you decided to take this initiative into your hands because in the days of old, before the advent of modernism, this is how our parents were digging the roads we are using today? And we believe that uh, in the days to come, the government, who have been doing things in our community, will still come, if not to help us with this road, will help us to do other things in our community. Any special appeal from being with elites out of the village and all well-wishers concerning supporting this initiative? I will first start by thanking those being with people in and out of the country who have been putting their efforts together to see that we have something to eat and something to drink on uh, our working days here. We very much regret the passing away of our National Development Chairman, Mr. Kimbong Emmanuel, who passed away. So as you can see, it has really weakened us because he has been among those people who are really seeing that we don't live from here without having something to drink and something to eat. But we very much believe that in his absence, the other being with people of goodwill will show up to see that they assist us so that when, when they will come home for retirement, they will have a good road to be going to their farms with their Land Rovers and their, their hillocks. And as you can see, we have at the back of this work our fund, the Royal Highness, the Fund of Bengui, who is always showing up and doing it practically, which is what we want all the other funds to emulate in, in their communities. And we are also pleading that those who are not coming for this uh, community work should do their possible best to see that, let them come so that together we can join our hands and we see that this road reaches where we intend it to reach. As acknowledged there, some sons and daughters of goodwill from the village have been stretching out a hand morally, financially and materially to support the project. To ensure transparency, every little support that comes in is always acknowledged. The villagers believe in God, reason why, after acknowledging the various supports that came in, they prayed over the food and drinks, after which they will then replace the energy they had lost during work. After this day, precisely Monday, April 27, 2020, that we descended to the field to capture images of how the work was progressing, the villagers continued rallying on the set stretch of road thereafter every Monday till they finally reached their intended destination. Considering that it was a landmark achievement, a special inauguration ceremony of the road project was organized precisely on Saturday, January 30th, 2021. Early that Saturday morning, the villagers, this time around, including those who weren't showing up for work plus invited guests, rallied in the palace, all clad in traditional regalia. From here, they took off with a motorcade hooting along the streets through the Mile 19 Hill to the Mbengwe Council, 
then through GRA down to the Calabachalk Mine below St. Joseph's Catholic Comprehensive College Mbengui. Along the streets, they made sure everyone got to know something serious was happening. Upon arrival at the inaugural site, a crowd was already present waiting for the rest as all had been put in place to cut the symbolic ribbon as a mark of officially opening the road for usage. The Mbengui Element Development Association MEDA Road Construction Project was committed into the hands of the Almighty through various men of God that were invited to dedicate the success of the project to the Alpha and Omega of the universe. Because of this achievement, plenty of people, they know we don't think say if it come for pass. And the gathering we will make here today it be a possible testimony. For see, say all those who will be participating for this road, they will get some good intention. And today they say self they see in some of the things in a play, they play, they don't can't turn better thing. Therefore, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, we don't see so many things where they come for pass, but all of us will lift up with voices today for thank God and for appreciate ourselves. I want to tell you one thing. If not this crisis, they not predict this road. So when crisis come, as they bring trouble, now some other people, when they get hurt, they make achievements. Because we'll get time where plenty of things will go lost. And at the same time, we will make use of that time for see say we achieve which way we will achieve them. So it don't mean say make we continue for remain because some people don't continue for talk only crisis, crisis, crisis. Inside the crisis, what you be do? If you get any opportunity, use them. After the words of exaltation, the traditional council, represented by the former deputy mayor to the Mbengwe council, Pachunga Patrick Dara, also took to the floor to pour some libation. She to turn mother goon and jagger. She must have mother goon and jagger. If you were a kind team of two more than a yen and you walk. You may not be here. You don't beg. Say you more to learn than you walk. Sagane, now I remember me. I hear our winning it. Nagane, you care and I'm gone. Sobre Yenega, yes, sobre Yenachi. Then came another notable of the village, another former mayor of the Mbengui Council, Fonani Jonas Asa, who after tuning some traditional choruses, then went on to cut the ribbon. From here, the motorcade caravan will then take to the road in jubilation, heading back to the palace where they started. But along the way, they had a stopover at a particular road junction known in the Meta language as a zip. 
Such special road junctions were common in the days of old and they had an exceptional value and recognition. Upon arrival at this particular one, some explanations were made. <laughs> Then some whining and dining was also done at the spot with a demonstration of how food and drinks have to be kept there for the ancestors and the needy in society. When I was growing up as a young boy, I used to go to the farm with my grandmother just from uh, 10 meters from this place. Uh, people going to the farm usually pass it. If you are hungry, you can pass through this place and you pick whatever eatable thing you find there. They when coming back, if you also have, you drop it there so that the needy can feed themselves from this place. It does a brief knowledge and know about the place. The place has long been abandoned. Are you guys trying to revive it? We are trying to revive it, as you can see. Meaning from now onward, when people will be passing here, farmers going to a farm, there will be food here for, for the sure. needy. For sure, that's, that's, that's a living example. You can, you can see plantain there. From today, from now on, if, uh, this is Mr. Anyangwe Charles eating from the place. Are there consequences to someone who will pass here and probably carry the things home to go and cook or probably steal? Uh, everything is in the hands of the Lord, okay. but we don't wish anybody to uh, suffer from, uh, let's say, taking something from everybody. It all depends. So the place is in no way devilish. It's just tradition. No way, no way. It's just tradition. As such, the launching of the road project was an opportunity for the people of Mbengwe village in Mbengwe central subdivision. Momo Division of the Northwest Region of Cameroon to demonstrate their cultural savvy in costume, cuisine, language, and other aspects. <laughs> After having exhausted the little food and drinks, the last bus stop was then at the courtyard of the palace where there were more cultural demonstrations greased with speeches, whining and dining. Ever since the inauguration day till date, the road has been greatly serving the villages as transportation of their farm produce is now easier, considering that a majority depend on subsistence agriculture for livelihood.